Hi guys, welcome to Sample of TV. I hope that you are well and you are always uh, revising so that you'll be mathematically sharp. On this lesson, I'm going to show you how you multiply or divide signs. Now, if you don't understand how to add and to subtract directed numbers or signs on directed numbers, you must watch the first lesson on Sample of TV on how to do that. So on this session, we are going to do multiplication and division of signs but before uh, we go into detail i want to take note of this if we have same signs like this positive and a positive or a negative and a negative these signs if you are dividing or multiplying them they will give you a positive sign so plus and a plus or minus and minus they give you a plus but positive and a negative or a negative and a positive if you are dividing or multiplying them they give you a what a negative so this happens if you are dividing or multiplying them it's simple and straightforward what you just have to know is if you are multiplying same signs you get a positive if you are dividing same signs you get a positive if you are multiplying different signs you get a negative if you are dividing different signs you get a negative in simple terms you can just say uh, same signs they give us positive different signs they give us negative let's do example let's say for instance we've got negative 2 negative negative 7 like this what is going to happen the first thing solve the middle signs solve the signs that are at the middle and then you solve as usual so it's going to be minus 2 plus and plus these signs they are multiplying each other if signs are next to each other it means they are multiplying each other so minus times minus we are going to get a positive then our final answer is going to be five if you don't understand how do we get this five you must watch the first lesson on sample of tv directed numbers lesson one watch that lesson and then you completely understand what is uh, going on here let's uh, do another example let's say you've got uh, 11 plus negative one like this what is our first step solve the signs that are at the middle positive and a negative what do we get we get a negative so it will be 11 minus one this one is very simple 11 minus one is 10 right let's uh do other examples let's say we have 10 plus negative 15 this will be equal to 10 positive and a negative we get a negative like this then our final answer is going to be negative 5 another example let's say you have minus 120 minus minus 10 as usual you first solve the signs that are at the middle and the same signs what do they give you they are multiplying each other they give you a positive so it will be plus 10. Then our final answer is going to be negative 110. 10. If you don't understand this stage to this stage, you must watch the first video on sample of TV. You completely understand it. Right. Uh, let's move on. Even when you are given, let's say you are given three numbers. Let's say you are given three numbers. You uh, still solve it the same way. For instance, let's say you are given minus 10 plus negative 3 minus positive 8 like this so what is going to happen here you are going to solve the signs at the middle first then you solve as usual now this is going to be minus 10 plus and minus what we get it's a minus minus 3 here minus and plus what we get minus 8 so our final answer is going to be minus 21 that will be our final answer now let's see what happens if we are dividing when we are dividing for example let's say we have minus 40 divided by minus 5 like this what is going to happen you have same sign so it means your solution is going to have a positive so your answer is going to be positive 8. What if you have 23 
minus 23 divided by 5 again. What is going to happen here? You have got a different signs because here there is a positive sign. So negative and a positive you get a negative. Then 5 into 23 this is going to be 4 remainder 3 over 5. This will be your final answer. So what I want you to take note of is if you are dividing same signs you get a positive. If you are dividing different signs, you get a negative. It's not complicated. It's simple and straightforward. Just keep that in mind and stay focused. Right. Now, let's say you are given many numbers. I'm going to show you how you do it. Let's say you are given many numbers. Uh, like for instance, negative 2, negative, negative 3, Positive, negative 10, negative, negative 1, like this. So how do we solve this one? We solve this one by simplifying the signs first. So we are going to solve these signs that are at the middle. And we solve them the same way that I told you. When you solve those signs, then you solve as usual. So it means we are going to have negative 2 here. Then this one is going to become positive 3. And this one negative 10 and this one is going to become positive 1 then from this stage you are going to solve as usual I hope that uh, you completely benefited from this video and now you understand how to divide or multiply the signs don't forget to subscribe for more videos that are beneficial like this if you benefited share to the friends that you think that they also struggle with this site that they will benefit don't forget to subscribe for more videos that are beneficial like this as well. Stay focused.